and we're going to do a little Euro 2012 guide for you today. We're going to take you around the city, show you some of the places that you're going to need to know about, show you where the stadium is. Where we are now, we're right in the middle of the city. If you come from, wherever you come from in Europe, whether you arrive at the airport or the train station, you're going to end up in the centre at some point, and this is the most central place. You've got Central Station here, the Marriott building just across the road, the Palace of Culture to our left, and about three kilometres straight down Alea Jerusalemski, across the Vistula River, you've got National Stadium, where the matches will be played. But for, before we go and look at those, let's go and get ourselves kitted out in the shopping centre behind us here. So here we are, what do we need? We will take a cat. From white or red. Let's take a home shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I'll kiss it out, come on. Okay, I'm ready. This is the Palace of Culture. This is the building that you can see from all over Warsaw. Legend has it you can see it from 30 kilometers away. This is famously Stalin's present to the Polish people. Built in the 50s, it contains over 3,000 rooms. And you need to know about this building because it's the center of Warsaw. It's your landmark. It's where you can orientate yourself from. This is Warsaw's fan zone. There's room here for 100,000 football supporters. There's grandstands, large screens relaying the matches. There's a McDonald's, there's local food stalls, there's Carlsberg bars, there's a passion meter where you can go in and measure and demonstrate that you are the loudest supporters here at the, at the fan zone. There's beer fountains, there's everything. This is ground zero here in Warsaw for the duration of Euro 2012. Running through the tournament in the Palace of Culture is an exhibition about international football and Polish football. And on top of that, you can take a lift to the 30th floor, which costs 20 zloty. And from there, you can see all around Warsaw and across the Vistula Valley. Let's go and take a look. It's worth remembering that Poland has a rich football heritage. Probably the greatest team in Polish history was during the 70s and the early 80s. Uh, famously, the 70s team were known as Gorski's Eagles. This team is immortalized in Poland. They're, 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 they're honored and, and Poland dreams of the day it can have another team as good as this one. So 20 Zwarty brings you up in the lift to the 30th floor here where there's a viewing terrace so you can see right across Warsaw, you can see the old town and across there on the other side of the Vistula you can see the National Stadium decked out in the red and white colours of Poland. Let's go and take a trip over there now. There are three main ways you can get to the stadium. Number one, there is a train station in the shadow of the Palace of Culture, not the main train station, the city centre station where you'll be directed down onto the platforms. Number two, the ropes will be closed on match days and you can walk the two and a half kilometres to the stadium. Or three, and this is the option we're taking, it's the city tram, which goes straight down and will get you there in about five minutes. So here we are at the National Stadium. There's room for 58,000 supporters here, nearly a thousand journalists. It's been built specifically for Euro 2012 on the site of what used to be the 10th anniversary stadium. Now that was built in the 50s. The only thing remaining from those days is the relay statue that you can see over there. In 1968, a Pole called Richard Shivyets burnt himself alive to protest at the Soviet-led invasion of Czechoslovakia. Now that's probably one of the saddest moments in modern Polish history. And this stadium represents a whole new start for this place and a whole new start for Warsaw and the country. This is a real landmark moment in Poland's history. If you're not lucky enough to have one of the tickets to come and see a game here, we recommend you go and watch it in the fan zone, back there in the centre of Warsaw. But quite frankly, you'll be finding the game everywhere. Every bar, garden, restaurant, cafe, they're going to have screens up and this country is going to go football mad for 30 days. Bravo. 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 Bravo.